In this video, we'll be talking about the basic concepts of entity relationship model. The first important concept is that of an entity. So how do we define an entity? An entity is any real world object that can be uniquely identifiable. Now, when I say uniquely identifiable, what I mean by this term is that it has certain properties which are called as attributes in the terminology of database management systems, which can uniquely identify it or distinguish it from other objects or entities. So let us consider the scenario of a college. So if we consider a college, we have three entities, a student, a teacher, and say, project. Now, for each of these entities, we have different attributes. As we had seen in the earlier lecture, listing down the attributes is a very important step before one starts with the database design of any real enterprise system. So if we were to model the system of a college, we have to model the attributes of these three entities. Let us quickly list down the attributes. For student, we will have first name, last name, gender, his address, also his age. These are some of the attributes. Similarly, for teacher, we'll have first name, last name, say a salary, and a department to which the teacher belongs. For project, let us just have two attributes for now, say project ID, project title, and also let us add in project start date and project end date. Now that we have taken a brief effort at listing down the attributes, let us really discuss how we define an entity. Now one might say that student, teacher and project here are entities, but they are not really entities. An entity is an instantiation of each of these. Like, for example, if in the college we have a student called Ram and another student called Sham, these are entities because they are uniquely identifiable or they can be distinguished. Let us also consider two teachers, say Kevin and Mansi. These are entities. Also for projects, let us consider two projects, say AI based doctor and remote controlled webcam. So these specific instantiations are what are entities. Now, each of these entities will have different values for the attributes that we have discussed. And that is how they will be uniquely identifiable. So continuing with the previous discussion attributes, which is the second basic concept of the entity relationship model, we will now try to define an attribute. So an attribute is a property of an entity. Now, for every property, we have an associated value. And for every value, there are two ways in which the property can take upon values. So a property can take upon values either from a domain of values or a range of values. Let us quickly get into the different types of domains and ranges. Let us now understand what we mean by domain and what we mean by range. Now, when we say that a property can take values from a domain, we mean that it can take values from a set of values. Say like the example of the property gender. Gender can only take a value from this set that is male or female. By range, we mean that the value can be between two values, that is say 0 and 100. So if we consider the property of age, we can have the age to be taking values between 0 and 100 only. So this is what we mean by range. So every attribute or property of an entity can take its values using these two things, that is a domain or a range.